Nah, it's your boy Let's Press Play here and today I am shooting a video for my follow-up video, the Ryzen 7 3700X emulation test. Now, if you haven't checked that video out, highly suggest you go check that video out. It's on my page, Let's Press Play. Now, this video is gonna be a recap from that video. It's just to show you guys where these devs are headed to in the future. From then until now, there have been major improvements and updates to give you guys better performance in your emulators. So I'm going to test out Ryu Jinx, I'm gonna test out Xenia, I'm gonna test out Yuzu and RPCS3. Shout out to everybody who requested games that they wanted me to play. I am going to play some, not all of them, just to give you guys an idea to where these games are at and to where they're gonna to head to in the near future. So let's get it.
Well, there you have it. The Ryzen 7 3700X with all the newly updated emulators. Throw anything at it and it works. Not really, but we're getting there. Xenia, sorry for everybody that wanted to see Xenia to work. It does work. It works great. It's just that I had a previous old build and I deleted it to download the master. The master actually has a couple problems with it. The previous build, in my opinion, was a little better, but it was okay because I just used the Canary build to play all the games for you guys, which you all know is an experimental build, but it still played fine. It worked out. Yuzu, Ry Ryu Jinx, if that's how you pronounce that. Both of those emulators still continue to surprise me from just the past release day of the Nintendo Switch, how far they've gone. They've gone really far. Now, the cool thing about Yuzu is that Yuzu has a lot of games up and running. It's just, as far as performance, it's, eh, it's good, it's good, but it's not great. But they are definitely, a, I would say, a tad bit on the high tier compared to Ryu Jinx. But the thing Ryu Jinx has going for it is that they have a lot of 2D indie games running on their emulator, which Yuzu doesn't. Yuzu focuses more on the popular games, I would say, than the 2D indie games. So if you have a lot of Yuzu, I meant Yuzu, if you have a lot of Nintendo Switch games and you would like to play them, all you have to do is just download both emulators and then you literally have the whole Nintendo Switch at your disposal. RPCS3, RCPS3, I don't know, I always mess that up. It's amazing, it's just getting better and better over time. Last of Us still plays like crap, but it, I mean, you are getting a little bit slight improvement. The graphics don't break as much. They compile a little better, but it's still horrible. You still have to mod the whole emulator just to play it. So that'd be nice though to play that game. That game's amazing. But other than that, every other game that I threw at it performed pretty well, performed great. Red Dead Redemption, that played that played good. It, was, it would hit its highs at 30 and then it would drop to like 24. But mind you, I'm playing that on the boat when I played it on OpenGL, it actually performed a tad bit better. I should have put that in here too, but I didn't. Whatever. You guys, I know you guys will appreciate it no matter what anyway. So there you have it, guys. Those are the new updated builds on the Ryzen 7 3700X. If you like this video, please hit me with a like and please give me a subscribe. I could really use it to build this channel so I could keep coming out with great content. I need you guys. All right, thanks, man, and I'm out.